Well, the YouTube back on the case. I'm not a real detective, but I like to give my thoughts, theories, and ideas just to let everybody know. Because, of course, there's people out there that are doing wrong things, trying to be a detective. Yeah, a pet dick. <laughs> Anyways, back to the Brian Schaefer case, and I found this article. And, um, of course, there's his mother that passed away with cancer. Rest in peace. Um, very, of course, everybody said that he had a great relationship with his mother and could be the possibility, like I said in my last video, that he couldn't take the loss of his mother. But, if he was on his way out of med school, you know, I had a great wife to look forward to. I mean, I'm sure his mother would want him to do that life and, you know, just carry on in her name, you know. And if he was going to be in med school, damn, get into that med field, maybe try and um, fight the world of cancer. So I think that's what she, uh, yep. Fight the world with cancer, huh? About a couple things did catch my attention in this article. And due to highly of what I like to say, the underground and what's beneath us, um, I honestly now think because of the, um, place of where he was, and I guess in another article I looked up, the Ugly Tuna Saloon, or Saluna, is now closed. But of course, this all shows the escalator. I guess in the other article it says, is this speaking with two college-age women? Now in the other article, I like to put this up here, right? Because this is why I like to do articles and put them up and read from them. Because in the other one that I have up, they he said they said these were friends. But um, I guess he had an apartment, of course, near the place, the uh, Saluna. If I'm even saying that right, I don't know why the hell they would put an A there, Saluna. With the tuna. <laughs> I can't make jokes. That's not funny. <laughs> but everybody needs a laugh with something like this, you know. Not with the story itself, but, you know, if we all would just be serious and think of the worst of things, you know, you need a laugh here and there to just get it through, you know. Because everybody, I'm sure, that reads this, you know, leaves it with despair and, like, what the hell happened and anger and Eee. But, um, of course, they all oh, right here. The sewer system was checked. Dumpsters in the sewer systems. But you know what? That's not enough for me. And I mean, everything in here, it says, you know, up until that point, he went back into the building and never left. Now, there could be a possibility that he did the, uh, Clothes change thing, clothes underneath, put them out on outside, put the outside ones on the inside, and could have went on to a different life, but due to this being a two-story building, I think there's more in there than what people know about, because like I say, I do a video on a friggin', um, Underground caves that were on a paranormal investigation channel. And them caves were built underneath the buildings in the city. And I wouldn't be surprised if there was something hidden, sinister, underneath this building. I think he went underground is right, and not in the goddamn sewer systems. In the underground dark world of 
tunnels. And that was all due to slavery or leads, you know, maybe to the subways. You know, it all varies on what they're built for. But even here where I live in Lemonster, Mass., there's underground slavery tunnels. And in Fitchburg, a buddy of mine. And I might, I don't know if I did that, but I did do the town hall of Fitchburg. And there's a door that I was looking for my kid one day, and I went into this parking lot. I saw the door. It immediately rushed to my head. Damn, there's a friggin' out and in. You know, people go in, come out the other way, just in case of something happens. And that's another thing them tunnels were built for. I would love to know. I got to look up the history of this building to find out. But I guarantee, I, I bet you any money that there's underground tunnel system under there. And that's what I think. Because who comes in and don't come out and the only possibility way is right is the change of the clothes, like I said. Take the ones underneath, put the outside ones, you know, on the inside. That's the only way he could have got out without being, you know, there's his clothes there. And, yeah, I mean, they look thick enough to maybe wear something underneath. But, going to moving on. Let me see, this is, oh no. Haha, <laughs> I still gotta do this. So very interesting stuff out there in the UK. Where's that other article I put up? I know I brought that up. Where'd I go? Damn it. It was another damn friggin' article on this. Come on. Oh, that's what it was. I mean, I'm not gonna get too much into that, but it was a um, update of 2020. Right here. Thing in there. Yeah, he's suspicion. I mean, everything in this one is a detective that uh, it's up to date, and I lost it. But there's nothing in there but this. And they thought that uh, he was in New Mexico. Right here, the person thought, the, the detective thought this was him in Mexico. But, I'm going to do a picture analysis. And as you look here and take a good look at these eyebrows. Eyebrows, very thick. Now, whether or not he shaved them, but you look in here, or this piece of the face, the eyebrows are very close together, right? <laughs> Right here, they go, you could pretty much put a finger on that nose and go like this and you'd be touching the eyebrows on each side of your finger, right? And my eyebrows, as you can see, are wide off to the side, like this, right? See how close I'm on? The nose is straight and narrow. Bang! They did do a picture, Alanis, on this, a professional, and it is not him. Because of the simple fact is look at his eyebrows and how far they're spread apart. You put your finger up there like to mine, you can't touch him. Him, same thing, can't touch him. And his nose is not as narrow as this guy's nose. You can see that right off the bat. He's got little like uh, stuff that sticks out like mine to the side. So it was a bummer, and the article does say that it wasn't him, so. But I figured I'd show that and show everybody what the analyst probably did. And I and me, when I do face, because I'm always looking at faces, because like I say, in a lot of my videos, there's a lot of people that look like each other. And this right here is not one of them, but you never know. 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, there are people that look like people, and I say it's due to the caveman era because they, of course, didn't know better of who they slept with, right? You can say there was a lot of incest. It's not their fault. They didn't have the brains to know better, right? At least they made fire and kept warm and stayed alive and kept the population. That's how we were made. But you can clearly see them eyebrows are way off on Brian's and way far over. So, um, so all in all, that's my analyst on this. I mean, I wanted to update this too because it sucks to say that ain't him. And as you can see, the eyebrows are thicker and the nose, whoosh, it's clearer. I just got kicked out of my office anyways. <laughs> but that's the only new updates so far on this guy. Other than that, I think the guy went under tunnels. There are a lot of friggin' un undocumented tunnels, I bet. I bet in this city. So, I mean... For that to be said, there's a lot of stuff out there. Secretive stuff that's been going on for years. That's right. God damn it. And this would be one of them. I think he got sucked under the underground by someone. Mother, if them girls were his fault, that's what I wanted to show in that article. That the, uh, but I gotta bring it up. I'll bring it up in another video because I think... Um, I'm not, I won't be done with this. I'm going to check into some more stuff. Again, that's the mapping out of the building and see if I can find anything sinister underneath. So when I do, when I find that article, I'm going to screenshot it and take care of that. But this is only on, only known new evidence that they're saying that was him in New Mexico or something. Or Mexico. Tijuana. Go figure what is it with everybody with Tijuana? You want to leave the United States? Go to friggin' Mexico. What? Ain't nothing down there in Tijuana but lizards and dirty water. <laughs> I don't know. It's just insane. Although Mas Tequila is down there with Sammy Hagar. <laughs> the only thing I want to go down to Tijuana is see Sammy. But I think he sold that company. I don't know. Anyways, that's my... We're going to look into the buildings next, so... Till that next video, be safe, take care, always beware. You don't know what's underneath you to suck you in them dark corners. Other than that, people, right? Gotta watch out. Not a nice world. Out.